Good morning, everybody, and welcome to On the Open, taking a look at all the European action here at MarketStream.Live. My name is Joseph Kuzik with the Kuzik Group, securities offered by MoneyBlock. Let's take a look at what's going on in Europe, and right now, the geopolitical headlines continue to hammer the markets right now. You have South Korea, you have Syria, you have the election in France now heating up. Remember, we're about two weeks away from that election in the first vote. Looks like Marie Le Pen still has some momentum. We also have the Communist Party uh, candidates still in the mix, which could help Le Pen. That has the market somewhat on edge, but we're not seeing it in the price action right now. Taking a look, though, first at Germany. Um, oh, and before we get into Germany, we did talk about Greece, and it looks like the tranche of capital that the EU zone was holding out for for Greece is going to be released. Uh, there was an agreement based on uh, their spending. Uh, they actually reduced the amount of uh, spending uh, against GDP by about 2%. So it looks like the Greeks are going to get that tranche of capital infused into the system. Uh, so that was a bit of a piece of news that finally got off of the radar right now. Uh, you are also seeing that the euro is actually trading. As a matter of fact, let's just take a look at this because we want to look at the currency markets. We saw the yen overnight. Uh, trading weekly, weaker. We're also seeing that the euro is basically flat right now, 102.67 pre-market looking at the ETF. But if you actually look at the pair, um, you can see that the pair is down. Uh, or Let me just look at this. Right now, the euro pair, euro against the dollar, trading down just ever so slightly at 105.75. So at this juncture, the euro is trading a little bit weaker. We're also seeing, though, that the um, the pound is actually trading a little bit stronger against the U.S. dollar. So we'll keep an eye on that. That Those currency fluctuations do impact how these markets perform. Take a look at the performance of the DAX. In Germany, down 22.5 at 12,201.90. Uh, 12, <coughs> What's notable here in Germany is you're seeing counter-cyclicals, you're seeing autos um, all on the downside at this juncture early in the session, but you're seeing airlines, specifically Lufthansa, up about 2.5%. Uh, so that is really what's been holding up this market right now. Again, watch this 20-day moving average on the DAX. Uh, that, that comes into play at right around 12,130, so we're about 170 points away from that level. But that's where the short-term uh, uh, bulls would be put on notice and could have a battle. Uh, taking a look at the UK, um, Right now, we have miners and energies under pressure at the UK. Take a look at the FTSE down seven bucks, seven seventy, a tenth of percent, right on that twenty-day moving average at seventy-two ninety-one. We're going to watch this one really closely because energy has been specifically crude oil. Both Brent and West Texas here in the states have been moving to the upside after uh, basically basing out at around forty-seven, forty-eight dollars. Now trading in the mid, uh, lower to mid 50s at this juncture, West Texas lower than and, uh, the Brent contract trading at uh, right around 54. As a matter of fact, we can scroll down and look at that in a minute. But uh, in the uh, UK markets, watch the miners, watch the energy names. They've been under pressure, the likes of like BP and so forth, uh, Shell, all under pressure at this juncture. Taking a look at France. Now, France has been moving to the upside quite nicely, trading right now down about 29 at 5105.90. What's interesting about France is, is that you're starting to see financials and autos starting to weigh on this market. With the French elections now, uh, looks like April 23rd, I believe it's going to be the first vote really starting to pick up as far as volatility is concerned. Let's see if that actually plays out because you could see exporters and financials could under, come under pressure, especially since if a Le Pen victory does come into play, you're going to see she's already been very vocal about, first of all, moving away from the euro, not only the currency, but also being part of the union. So this is going to potentially get very volatile over the next week or so. Um, and then what's also notable is Spain. Uh, there was an interesting headline that came out. I was reading some information. Uh, in Spain, financials are under pressure, specifically banks, and one bank in particular, Banco Popular, uh, down about 8.5% right now. There is concerns that the bank is going to need to raise some more capital. Let's watch this very closely because if we're going to start to see these small banks 
in these banks in these smaller countries that are very undercapitalized at this juncture, like in Italy and Spain, this could be a red flag for financials across the board, um, and that could add some volatility in that sector. And we'll have to see if that actually flows into here in the United States. All right, folks, watch the headlines. Keep your powder dry. Stay smart. We're going to be back on at 930 Eastern time here at MarketStream.Live. I'm going to be covering everything on the U.S. Opens. See you then.